Brianna, good morning. I just got off the phone with Ken and LaRae. It's John Schneider calling. You're amazing. You tracked, uh, you tracked me down, and I'm so glad you did because the telethon, as you know, is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'll try to call you later on. I don't want to uh, just leave a message. I want to actually say hello to you. Whoops, I'm slipping in the snow up here. I want to say hi to you because you did great work, and it's much appreciated. I will call you later on today. I'm up in uh, Vancouver doing Smallville right now, and uh, I'll track you down, girl. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. The Big 96.5 KBKO with Ken and Lorray as we're working towards uh, Ken and Lorray's kids with our Mediathon. We have had uh, a goal in mind other than raising great money, but to get a chance to talk with one of the originators of the Children's Miracle Night Network and, of course, Mr. Bo Duke, also <laughs> the dad on small. We've got uh, Jonathan Ken. We're hey, talking John good. Snyder's on the line with us. How good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good day. Good. I mean, you don't even know what where we are in the world, do you? You now guys have been up a long time. You're on the you're on the set for uh, for Smallville right now. Uh, Smallville. Where are you? Where are you now? In Vancouver. Okay. Really? Vancouver, British Columbia. That's right. It's beautiful there's up no, there. There's no place in the continental United States that looks anything like Kansas, I guess. <laughs> yeah, apparently, other than, oh, no. well, Kansas. I think Fillmore. Fillmore is okay. <laughs> I've been in Kansas. It Moore Park like is all good. right. I don't, I don't know what the heck we're doing out here. Okay. My room is okay. Well, before now, we Bakersfield get... doesn't look like Kansas, I will admit. Uh, actually, we got enough parts to look like everywhere around here. So. <laughs> That's true. Oildale. We can go to Oildale and say it's Kansas. There we go. The man knows his Bakersfield. I love that. Hey, I've been there a lot. I've played at Buck's Place. I've, I've got some great friends out in Bakersfield. And I used to live in Fraser Park. So. Okay. That's right. That's right. We did hear about that. Yep. Now, yeah. so you know all about, uh, let's, let's turn this thing. You know all about uh, Bakersfield Memorial Hospital then and the work they do with Children's Miracle Network. Fantastic hospital. They do such great work for CMN and the... And, uh, if your child has to go somewhere, uh, and uh, it, it seems like it's mostly an emergency situation, when people think about telethons, they think about uh, muscular dystrophy, or they think about spine and bifida, they think about ailments that the family know, they know that the child has it and they're dealing with it you know, year after year. What we found through children's hospitals is that uh, it, all of a sudden on a Wednesday you need a children's hospital. It's a life or death situation. Accidents are, are what winds up uh, sending the little ones into the hospital more often than not. And it's nice to know there's a place like that right around the corner because it's one of the best in the country, absolutely, hands down. And it means that our neighbors, our friends, our family don't have to leave town. That's right. That's right. And it also it gives you – I've got four kids, so it's important to have that, that level of safety kind of tucked away to know that if you should need the services provided by the hospital, that it is not that far away – and it's really good, you know, being involved with Children's Miracle Network now for 25 years, my gosh. It's really great to know that this effort actually predates my eldest daughter's first birthday. Uh, and how that translates to folks who are listening right now, if you get on the phone and you make a donation and you help the hospital now, if you should need it in the future, uh, and I'm not wishing that on anybody, but if you should need it in the future, it will feel so good knowing that you got involved in an effort that actually helped that hospital before you needed it. You'll feel like a better parent. I know I do. You're listening to Ken and LeRae on the Big 96.5, and we are talking with John Schneider. And, John, in, in talking about your involvement, you didn't have kids, so what? <laughs> how did you get involved? How did you start into Children's Miracle Network? Well, I, I've been, I thought about that quite a bit. I, uh, my dad, when I was a little guy running around in New York, he, was, uh, he played music in a square dance band. <laughs> and one of the things that his band called the Crop Dusters did every year was they, played a, uh, they did a wheelchair dance for free. It was a benefit that my dad put on. Oh, wow. And I think that that must have made a really big impression on me. Uh, my uncle had cerebral palsy and, and his music was everything to him we'd sit in the basement and listen to the beatles and listen to all kinds of music on back when we had 45s you know and before eight track <laughs> <laughs> and uh so we'd listen and, and music was important so that i i saw that uh that was really the only thing that would put a smile on his face so 
I think there's a combination of a bunch of things that when Dukes of Hazard was so was so huge and the opportunity came about to uh, to do a telethon that would actually help children's hospitals specifically, regardless of what the ailment was, um, I went for it. And this was uh, 1982, and it's been going strong. We became the largest, the single largest telethon effort in the world, I think, 10 years after we started. So we've raised over $3 billion collectively in the United States. And That's Canada. very cool. Yeah, very yeah. Cool. And I tell you what's really cool is the the uh, the arm that's growing more rapidly than anything else as far as our fundraising efforts, because, you know, the, the economy is what it is, and there's always an excuse for, for, uh, for things not to work. But what has been working so incredibly well has been the Radiothon portion of the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, it's the largest growth area that we've had since we started. Wow. So my hat is off to you folks. Well, it's you our are, pleasure to do it. You are the strongest it. fundraising effort in the whole machine right now. Well, it's easy when you meet the kids uh, that we've had the pleasure of meeting here in Bakersfield and throughout the, throughout the U.S. that I've been involved with. We have one listening right now that I wanted you to know about. Uh, she, we tried to get her in the studio today. She is a miracle child herself. She just hit her 21st birthday. She quite possibly is the biggest John, John Schneider, Schneider fan. fan we know. Her <laughs> name's Brianna DeJesus. And she's listening right now. If you could say hi to her, that would just make our life. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Brianna, I'm so sorry that we didn't get a chance to run into each other here at the studio today. But somewhere in the future here, my miracle child, we'll, uh, we'll go, to, uh, go to a place and get a burger and sit and talk. And uh, I want to see all about this, uh, this fanaticism you have. <laughs> <laughs> John, don't make promises you aren't I appreciate it very much. Keep. And I want you to tell my daughter, who's going to be 21 in, uh, in January... I want you to tell her for me how cool her dad is. <laughs> so maybe she'll know it. <laughs> no, actually, John, I have to give her credit. She is the one who tracked down your publicist number, your publicist email. Oh, my uh, gosh. Email. She's why she, we're talking. Right. She was a bulldog <laughs> to get your information wow. and so that we could do our emails and make our connection. She is the reason that we are talking to you right now. Isn't that fantastic? Is. My gosh. She's Brianna, the, good work, girl. Yeah, she did a great job for us. Well, John, I know that we you're busy up there and you've got got things to do with Smallville. And by Another the way, success on your we got to say we have Thanks. we have a whole cult of Smallville fans in our building. That we've had to oh, great. we've had to barricade the door so that they won't come in during this interview. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a whole new legion of fans beside all of us Dukes of Hazard fans. We've got that uh, going I for just, you too. It's I just awesome. have one request yeah. though What's before. That? Could you just do a little yee-haw? Oh, my gosh, in a hotel room up here. I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Wake them up. <laughs> I don't think, uh, wait a minute. No, oh, jeez, that would be so funny. There are people sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a, that was a half-hearted one. Half -hearted. I really, I can break glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, thank you, first off, on behalf of all the kids in Bakersfield and Kern County uh, for, you know, putting that face out there for all these years helping us have a great organization to back us up when we're asking people to call that number. Um, we appreciate so much all, all you've done for Children's Miracle Network here in town. It's my pleasure. I, uh, I count it as one of my, my favorite things to do every year, and it's been such a roller coaster. It's been fantastic. It's been going for so long, and I occasionally do get a chance to talk with adults who were kids in children's hospital who – come up and say, you know, if it wasn't for Children's Miracle Network, I wouldn't be here. And uh, that's, as a, as a father of four, John Schneider, the dad, uh, that's what it's all about. So I want to thank you folks for, as I said, being the single largest current arm of the Children's Miracle Network for fundraising. What you are doing helps so many people. And folks who are listening to this, Know that we're not just blowing smoke. Get on the phone, make a donation, and go down and see the hospital. That's a cool thing about children's hospitals, too. You can go see where your money is going. Check it out. They're different places. They are places where, where uh, the doctors are incredibly different. Imagine doing open-heart surgery on, a, a premature, on Brianna when she was, when she was a baby, mm -hmm. a premature baby. We've had open-heart surgeries done on babies who weighed less than a pound. Wow. And, sir, and they're around to talk about it today. So your money is very, very well spent when you donate to the Children's Miracle Network. Get on the phone. Make that donation. You will not be sorry. I promise. And we need a direct.